This is a very hard list to make, mainly because I didn't know it counted as a gadget. Um, does villains gadgets count? Do weapons count? Do lasers count? I wasn't sure, so these are my guidelines. No lasers, no weapons, and uh, no cars. That's basically it, so I'm just going to go straight into it with my dishonorable mention. And if you're wondering, this is my dishonorable mention medal, and it goes to every dishonorable mention. And this time, it goes to the glasses from a view to a kill. Basically, what these glasses d does is, I think it reduces glare. But when you watch the movie, A, you don't even notice it. And B, for a secret agent, that's not your biggest problem. So, I just think it was a pointless gadget. Mainly just to have a gadget in there. But let's start with the honorable mentions. But first, I have a little question, because I don't know if this counts as a gadget or not, and I'm that's the golden gun. I don't know. I really like this uh, thing, but I don't know if it counts as um, a gadget necessarily. I just wanted to include it because I thought it was a fun thing. But my honorable mentions finally are these. And I'm sorry for having all these three solo, it's just there's so many gadgets. The jetpack from Thunderball, the ski gun from The Spy Who Loved Me, which he you know, used at the beginning to shoot the guy, and then Red Grant's watch from, from Russia with Love. Um, nothing really to say about these, so I'm just going to go straight into it with number 10. And this one's a tie mainly because there's a few different variations of it. And it's the grapple gun from Diamonds Are Forever and the grapple belt from Goldeneye. I just think they're both, they're not terribly, you know, innovative, I guess. But uh, I just think they're cool, especially the one from Diamonds Are Forever. I think it's a very, it's one of the better scenes in the movie. But, uh... They're not that amazing, that's why they're only number 10. But number 9, I think, is a very cool gadget and very underrated. The Whistle Bomb from Living Daylights. There's not that much to say about this, only that it's just a cool idea and I think was a really good gadget in a movie that was more serious, especially compared to A View to a Kill. But number 8 was probably the most serious thing in this entire film. The, uh, the dart gun from Moonraker. I don't know... I just thought it was a cool um, gadget, really. I thought it was a, a solid way for Drax to die, give him hell. And, uh, yeah, there's not that much to say to it. But number seven, I thought, was even better. And that was the, like, everything in one watch from Live and Let Die. This thing could do anything. It, it was like a razor. It was a magnet. It was a watch. Wow. And um, I just thought it was really... I think one of the main things the gadget has to do is actually apply the plot, and this one really does, and that's what I like about it. But number six is the definition of doing literally anything, and that is the four-in-one phone from Tomorrow Never Dies. This thing could drive a car, read fingerprints, be a taser, and you could call on it. And, I mean, it was a little insane, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun part of the movie, but, uh... Number five was, <laughs> I love this thing so much. I don't get why no one mentions this. It's the Q boat from The World Is Not Enough. Let's be honest, they made it go underwater just for the hell of it. I thought it was a great last movie for, you know, the real Q, and I thought this is a really cool gadget. I know it's not really a gadget, but I think of it that way, and why not? I'm kind of breaking the rules anyway with some of the things. Number four, I didn't know how to rank this. I didn't rank it number one solely because... You can't, and it's a tie. It's Jaws' is teeth, really Jaws, and then Odd Jobs' hat. These things, the reason they're four is because I don't know how to rank them, really. I can't call them gadgets, but I felt that I should include them just because they're so great. I mean, they're more characteristics than really gadgets, but I enjoyed them. And number three is a fan favorite, I would say, and that's the breather from Thunderball. Although there was one of these in Die Another Day, I'm not going to count that one, solely because it's a rip-off of this, but I thought this was a really cool device, and I thought it had an interesting role in the movie. I thought it's really simple, and I thought it was a very good idea. But number two, I was going to have this number one, but I thought twice about it, solely because it's not that innovative, but the briefcase from, from Russia with Love. This thing literally had everything. There was a phone, a watch, a gas tank, there was guns, there was a knife. There was even money in it. What else could you want from it? It was in the second movie of the series, and I thought it was a very nice touch to one of my favorite Bond movies. But number one, and I feel like I've been giving this movie too much love, but why not? 
the exploding pen from Goldeneye. Honestly, isn't this most people's favorite gadget? I mean, I think it's just such a funny idea. Um, I don't know, Boris is shaking it around in his hand. Why not? I thought it was a fun gadget, and I don't think they'll ever be able to top this one, in my opinion. Next week, we're going to do a video which I'm very excited about, and that's the top 10 James Bond gun barrels. Remember, for each new subscription, there's a new video, so hit subscribe now.